Welcome to WO50 Podcast, Women Over 50 in Body Wisdom and Wellness. I sure hope we do after being on the planet so many years, over 50 years, and for some of us, maybe 60 years. Uh, my yeah. name is Corinne, and I'm here with my BFF, Eddie. And this episode, we took a deep dive into our favorite things. Just like Oprah and Ellen. That's us. We did a list yeah. of our 2023 favorite things, everything from uh, beauty products to gifts to um, the travel ideas. Uh, to anything. homemade items, mm -hmm. to lotions and sprays and bags and and the importance of, things of the quality of things that you use on your body and take in your body different teas that we like. So mm -hmm. it was fun. I think our list was probably about 18 things of our favorite things. Yeah. It was close yeah. to 20. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. It we was hope... wonderful. Yeah. You hope enjoy you it. enjoy it. <laughs> Hello, my BFF. Hello, my BFF. How are you doing? I am good. It's getting dark very early now. It must be getting really dark early up there. Oh, it is around four o'clock. It starts get, yeah, to get yeah, dark. Yeah, here it's about five. Yeah, it makes but a big difference, doesn't it? You know, it, it does. Like when I'm in Canada in the summertime, I'm always amazed that like 930 at night, it's still light out, which never happens yep. down south here. Yep. But I get to... I. I think I do anyway. I get to bed a little bit earlier. I find I'm going to bed earlier and settling down earlier. So just always waking a good up thing. earlier. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Since Europe, I think that's happened to you, right? Or, or just does that happen this time of year? Um, no, since Europe, because it really helped with the time change getting back. I really didn't have any jet lag. So I that's just, amazing, you know... Eddie. See, I told you spending one night in Barcelona and then flying and then arriving in New York at 9 p.m., and then sleeping yeah. and get, having a proper, like getting on the time change right away. That's yeah, I think the secret. Yeah. yeah. Next time, three nights in New York. <laughs> yes. Yes. We love our nights in New York. Yeah. Yes. So today our topic is we, you had the idea to do Eddie and Corinne's favorite things list. Just like Oprah and Ellen. Yeah. That's, that's us. We're just like them. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> just and different. You're... Same, same, but different. So Eddie and I love our, our little special things. We're going to share with you our favorite things. And then we're going to, I'm going to link, I've already linked down below Amazon links or sometimes website links of how to purchase these things if you want to. And it does, you know, help to support us and the channel. But um, if you're drawn to do it, if you like, and are curious about some things, but Eddie used to call me even in our twenties, what did you call me? Miss resourceful. Yeah. And I, I love go cringe. Where did you, where did you get that really nice eyeliner or, or she goes, Oh, I got this hair. And uh, yeah. And she would call me for anything medical or, you know, a certain tea or, and then she would do the research on it. Cause she, yeah, it's great. Yeah. And yeah. we're still doing it. She's oh still... yeah. And whatever she finds, she shares with me and whatever I find. So when we were traveling, it was kind of funny. Like we have all the same things basically. I mean, not all the same <laughs> things, but like I would say 80% of the same yeah. things, which the first thing we had, which, um, I don't know if we'll ever publish it. Cause we, I don't know, whatever, but we did like our, our travel, uh, episode of what we need to travel. But our, for the first thing I wanted to show and share with you that we both had on our, was our Biagi bag, um, which oh, is yeah. this extendable bag. See, it says Biagi right there. You can go to mm -hmm. Biagi.com or Amazon does carry them and they have the same prices. And so the cool thing about this is that it has wheels and, and this is only half the size. It goes up even taller and it comes in colors. Eddie has what color is yours? I have purple. And you know, what's beautiful about it too. It packs down really thin so you can put it in a bag that you carry on. And then if you travel and you need it, you know, it, it, fits a lot of stuff it fits you know almost half to a th to three quarters of what goes in a carry-on bag and even when it's full it still fits underneath the seat which is amazing yes. or or in the overhead and it has a little thing in the back to go on your suitcase so it has wheels mm -hmm. in itself but it also has that little flip in the back to go on your suitcase so that's what eddie and i traveled you know for almost three weeks was our um, biagi bag and our carry-on so that's our first pick of 2023, the Biagi bag. Yes. What else did you like? I like that it has pockets too. 
It had pockets and I just love how it zipped down and then you just unzip it for it to just pull up. And it's, um, you know, a lot of the, the bags that fit over the, the rail or the handle on your luggage, yep. a lot of them get narrower at the top. So they come into almost like a V, like this right. one just stays and comes up like the whole, yes, whole width of the bag, which is yep. great. Yep. Yeah. Excellent. That's what I and it has a, a shoulder strap. And, the, and like I said, also the wheels, the wheels aren't amazing. Like they can improve those, but if you balance your bag, you actually mm -hmm. can wheel it, but it's not like your, it doesn't wheel like your carry on, but the whole point is to use it as an extra on top. I wouldn't use it just as your own carry on. I would use it as a supplement if you just wanted to carry on as well as your um, roller bag. Right. Yep. It's also great if you, you know, if you have kids or grandkids and you want to put some stuff in it and go out the door, like it's great. Like yeah. just to, yeah. So we so. love our Biagi bag. I think it was a, I might be wrong. I thought it was a shark tank thing, but, um, but anyways, I love some of the shark tank things, um, yeah, which too. that that's actually another shark tank thing is our water bottle. Oh our yeah. Our special so. water bottle. It's called Lark. L-A-R-Q. Mm -hmm. Corinne gave me one last Christmas and um, last she year was so birthday, excited, think, wasn't it? Was it? Or was it Christmas anyways? Yeah. One of the two. No, it was for my birthday, yeah. which is close to Christmas yeah. anyway. So, but yeah, it was last year and I hadn't opened it. And then I went, a Oh, year later. here, I forgot about this. Cause uh, you have to read some things on it. And then it, the top of it gets plugged in and charged and it says, what is it stays charged for like eight stars for two or three months and it's got a little ultraviolet light in here and it lights up and it cleans your water so especially when you're traveling you don't have to clean you know when you don't have your brush to wash to wash it keeps it clean because mm -hmm. i don't like to wash my water bottle a lot eddie washes hers all the time but when you're traveling it's you can't wash your water bottle so it cleans yeah. your water cleans the bottle this one is insulated they're a little more expensive they're about a hundred dollars and then mm -hmm. the ones that aren't insulated, are, I think, are about $70, and that's U.S. But, yeah, it yeah. plugs USB, plugs in. And it, and it automatically it charges. Away. It automatically charges, so I didn't realize it has a light that blinks, so you don't want it sitting by your bedside table. Because I woke up one night, I was like, what the heck is that blinking? And she goes, oh, yeah, that light goes off. It means your water's getting <laughs> cleaned. And I'm like, and then when I had it on the plane, I noticed it in my pocket and I was like oh shit this is going to blink you know and the plane's so dark and because it lights up when it's cleaning so it lights it cleans, up and... if you go on the website or even on Amazon you can see that it cleans like 99 percent so it's great when I'm in India too now I wouldn't that was, so theoretically you could put tap water in it but it's not going to take out the chlorine that's not what it takes out all the bacteria and, and yeah, viruses it's more than microorganisms like yeah 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 so we love our lark okay. water bottle it's very it's my new favorite actually I just bought another one for the for the Black Friday sale, I bought another oh, one because mine's pretty banged up. I, I do drop yeah. my water bottle quite a bit, and um, it's yeah. pretty bad. That's how we Eddie and I told it because we got the same color, <laughs> and um, but mine was quite banged up, and yours was all yeah. I I would have written my name on it. Other than that, I would have no. You can't mix so, them up because you know. Yeah, no, can't mix them up. <laughs> my other favorite thing you introduced me to my actually, I love the Trish McAvoy, a razor cloth. This? That is the best thing ever. And there's some imitation ones out there. They just don't work. And honest to goodness, it takes off your mascara. Like it takes off. With just water. That's the your, thing. You don't that's need it, with any, just water. Yeah, just yeah. water. Because it has like millions and millions and millions of microfiber. It's super soft. And it lasts for 3,000. So it lasts three years, 3,000 face washes. Yours is, I think, two years old now. You're kind of mm -hmm. need a new one soon. Mine's, I do. I think, and I took old. it through... I. I took it through um, every time I travel. That's my, my face cloth I take with me. Because a lot of times in, in Europe, they don't use face cloths. I don't know how they. they in them India, too, them. you cannot get in these hotels in Europe and in yeah. India. They have hand towels, but there's yeah. no face cloths. I know. And I'm a face cloth person. Oh, me too. Me so. too. So we I love travel feeling with the it. water. And, and so this is what I love about that cloth, that it just takes off your makeup. Like even, even waterproof. waterproof makeup. Mm -hmm. It's it's magic, and I think it runs about uh, fifteen twenty dollars. Yeah, twenty twenty dollars in the U.S. It's yeah. made by right. Trish McAvoy, which unfortunately is not available in Canada. 
Um, and I looked on Amazon. You, you can get it on Nordstrom or probably TrishMcAvoy.com, but it's at Nordstrom is where I buy mine. And I mm -hmm. did find some good, highly rated ones on Amazon. I can't guarantee that they're as good as the Trish McAvoy one. Um, so, yeah, mm -hmm. so we recommend that one. Yeah, I usually put it in everybody's stocking because it is $20. So it's such a great yeah, gift. A, and it's like the best gift. Yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. your Christmas gift, I think, two years ago. Mm -hmm. One of, one of yeah. them. Yep. Mm -hmm. So what and else, then, Eddie? What else do you like? We've got a little pile then, over here. Um, what about this? Oh, the Tetley tea. So us Canadians, we do love our tea, our Tetley tea. But this one is called Immunity. So it has echinacea and zinc. And I swear by this, I'm drinking this now. She drinks it. She brought so it to Europe. She's got a cup in her hand all the time. I do. I drink this. Um, On the plane? Definitely, definitely two cups a day in the morning, in the evening, sometimes in the middle of the day, especially in cold and flu season. And it is so wild in the summer, I barely drink it. So my body just, it just resonates. And I swear by it, it keeps me well. And everyone who knows me will say that. They'll go, like, do, you, do you think that's doing something? I'm like, it's definitely helpful for your immune system. Yeah. And if you want to amp it up a little bit, like just add a little bit of, you know, fresh ginger, a little pinch of fresh ginger, put that into the water. And, um, you know, if you want it a little sweeter, add a little stevia or, or organic honey. So yeah, we had different ways to the to next it. best and, and yeah, and, and well, Eddie, I wanted, I want, maybe you can mention too the importance of sipping hot tea or hot water um, in, in the winter season. How does that, you know, I know Ayurvedically, they say that's wonderful. It cleanses the liver and is just so good for you. Cleanses the liver. It helps. Yeah. It helps the lymphatic system. It helps with mucus. Um, and we're trying to keep our body warm. So that's why when we drink, um, beverages that are too cold, especially in the winter, you're, you're cooling down your system and you're, you're it messes with metabolism. So you want to be warming your system. I mean, even room temperature water is really good to help regulate body temperature in the summer. But um, in the winter, the, 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 the hot fluids help with, you know, even the steam from a cup of tea or a cup of, you know, hot drink. You have your face over it and you can help clear your sinuses. You know, yeah. peppermint tea is, is beautiful. So and, it, and especially around the holidays, we're, we're, people are eating, you know, phlegm producing foods, more cheese, more dairy, more ice cream, right? Really rich foods. And so it really helps with that. And it helps yeah. with your gut flora, your immune system. So um, I think it's important. Yeah, Great. And then also holding it with your hands grounds you because it yeah. keeps you warm. And just keeps you in your body, you know, present moment. I always tell people, if you want to have a mindful moment, feel your hands on your coffee or your teacup, right? Yes. I mean, you think about being at a, outside at a fire and someone hands you a hot cup of tea or a hot chocolate oh, or a hot beverage. Yeah. yeah. How nice that feels. It's almost ceremonial, you know, it's a, uh, yeah, it's yeah. lovely. So and then the little bit, yeah, the stevia, remember the stevia? that yes, you can drop a little that bit just right here right Look here i brought my favorite since i'm a, i'm so canadian i love everything maple syrup so a lot of people yeah. don't like stevia i love stevia um i, I like this brand is my favorite the maple syrup flavor is the best i think eddie i gave you one time that vanilla um cinnamon one that you really liked i wasn't crazy about that one but this is my favorite this, especially in herba mate or even black tea it tastes great it's it's awesome it's on amazon it's it's not that expensive I just ordered a butter pecan one and amazon.ca has them and a toffee one and they have strawberry and they have different flavors. Orange. So it's, so it's, yeah, they have all these different flavors. So it's really nice. Like if you're making even a little mocktail, right. Even alcohol free, you can add a few drops to it and just, just come up with a, your own creation of, of yeah. some of the flavors. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, I like we that. We love stevia. Yeah. Yes. I was going to share my tea, my peak tea that you can't drink, but it's my absolute favorite. So it's, it's P I Q U E and they're little packets. And because I travel so much, these are amazing. This is a green tea, poor tea, and they come in these little packets. And, um, I love the ceremony of, of drinking tea and even making tea, but sometimes I'm in a rush and I just need it quickly or um, I'm flying, or I'm uh, I'm at a destination where it's just easier to have it. And this is actually, even though 
I'm, I'm a tea snob, but it's, it's freeze dried, triple toxin tested, and they have all different flavors. The poor ones are my favorite, but I actually love all of them. They're quite expensive, but if you break down the cost per, they're not, they're less expensive than coffees are. And they're just mm. so convenient and just rip it open. And it's just one cup. It's like a little, like, I don't know, quarter teaspoon in there or whatever. And, and you put hot water in it and it makes like the perfect cup of tea. It's yeah. Amazing. And you know, it's, it's interesting because the immunity is um, herbal. So it's an herbal based tea. And it was after menopause that black tea and green tea started to irritate my stomach. You know, it would give me a hot flash or, or I would get a little nausea. So, you know, it's really important to pay attention to those teas when you're drinking them because as the body changes, your gut flora changes. So yeah, but we do we do love our tea. So when someone says, oh, I don't drink tea. Well, there's a lot of tea to choose. Yeah. From. There's a lot of different teas out there. Um, the, the herbal ones that don't taste like black tea or whatever. So um, yeah, you, there's hibiscus, there's yeah, hibiscus, hibiscus tea even. Yeah. But you can even make your own tea out of ginger and lemon and water. You've yeah. got tea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At Ivy house, that's my seasonal. When I don't make it here, when it's cold, people miss it. They're like, no, I tried other teas and they're like, do you have the lemon ginger? Cause I yeah, like, that's delicious, but that's so fresh. Well, I, I actually cut it. So sometimes I grind fresh ginger, but what I do, I do grind some fresh ginger, but I buy ginger juice, which is fresh squeezed Ooh, organic nice. ginger. So I, I usually buy it by the quart and, um, and make, and then add fresh squeezed lemons and a little bit of the, the rind in it. And then I usually blend it with like, um, Tulsi or nettle tea like a sort Yum. of neutral and that's good for the lungs and everything. And then I sweeten nice. it with a combination of usually agave or maple syrup and stevia, like I combine it mm. um, a little bit yeah. and everybody loves it or honey if people need that. Um, but that's everybody is always wanting the recipe for that. Um, that's my, <laughs> and sometimes I'll put a little turmeric, either fresh, you know, a lot of the grocery stores now have fresh turmeric bulbs, just like a ginger bulb. And people are always wondering what to do with it. You can make fresh tea with it. Oh, and you know, another little idea I thought of when you just said that you could actually take some ingredients. Okay. So just say you have orange, lemon, a little bit of honey, some fresh ginger or ginger juice that you can have. Um, say whatever you want to add to it. Maybe you want to add a pinch of turmeric, blend it all together and pour it in an ice cube tray, freeze it. And then when you're making hot tea, take two little ice cubes out, pour hot water, and you've got your tea ready to go. Nice. There you go. Start you your throw own. Throw in. Yeah. You could throw in your own little tea bag with that little mixture or. Yeah. 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 That's there awesome. How's that sound? Isn't that a great that's idea? Perfect. Great idea. Especially for the holidays, people coming over. I love doing little things like that. Um, you know, with my herbs or whatever, it's just it's so fun. Oh, me too. Me yeah. too. I just harvested and, my sage. Oh, yum. I, I know. I still, I got to go out into my greenhouse and see what I got mint drying out there. So it's, uh, mint's hard because it doesn't really keep its flavor very much when no, it's dried. Doesn't, but it I've comes tried. back right away in the spring, which is, yeah, great. it's so, it's, yeah, it's like a strong vine you, and it goes everywhere. Yeah. So another thing we love, um, I love the smart wool socks. They saved us in Italy, certainly. And they I did. Three samples to, to look we at. We love them. The, so, okay. So I learned about smart wool socks, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago. I used to get blisters. No matter what kind of shoe I would try, I would get blisters all the time. And finally, I think it was, I can't remember who was my sister or you or somebody said, well, you should wear wool socks. And I'm like, ooh, wool socks. Like, wouldn't that be hot and not good? Like, it didn't sound good to me at all. They said, no, trust me. And so I got my first pair of smart wool and I've never looked back. And if people give me socks for Christmas, what I, I can only wear smart wool. So I have like 20 pairs now over the last 20 years. So this is like a thin pair that's good for summertime. Okay, and I like the funky, like, and this is like the little booty or the little, what's it called? The little um, ankle Let's sock. See. Oh, that's the ankle one. That's mm -hmm. the ankle one that has um, a little bit of cushion because you can get a little cushion or a lot of cushion. Or and no then, cushion. 
or no cushion. You can get Noshka, which is the first one I showed you. And then these are where Eddie's favorites that we both had in Italy that were, uh, I think, a little lower than the last one that I showed you that were our savior in Italy. So you actually don't sweat. And then there's another, you know, I mean, they this is the endless. They're end, endless kinds. Yes. And I have so I have ski socks in those that come right up to the knee. I have I love smart wool and they're because it's wicking and that's the whole thing. You don't get blisters. It draws the moisture away from your feet and they don't warm. move. They don't. Yeah, they that they don't move out of your shoe. You know, you got a good shoe on. They stay they stay on your foot. <laughs> yeah. And the, don't go like I actually tried Bombas, which is a good brand because they give so much. But. Uh, they didn't work as well. They, I didn't like them as much. And some of them are cotton blend too. Cotton wool blend doesn't work for me. Any other brand doesn't work. It's only smart. Well, and yes, they are expensive. They're pretty much $20 a pair, but they have a lifetime warranty. And I was telling Eddie this, that I've gotten like three free pairs yeah. that have gotten holes in them. And I send them back even they're three or four years old and they'll send me a new pair. That's wild. I never, I never knew. I never knew. I'm like, I got three or four years out of a pair of socks. This is great. I, I've never sent socks back, but I'll remember that now. Yeah. Moving, why not? Moving forward. Moving forward. Um, Eddie found, Eddie turned me on to the Yucca app. So you want to talk about the Yucca I app? I love the Yucca app. Y-U-K-A. Mm -hmm. Y-U-K-A. And it was actually one of my young patients turned me on to it. So, and it's a... It's a, an app that you can actually scan at the backs, so the QR codes on products. So the mostly the barcode, sorry, not the QR code, yeah. barcode. Um, had a moment there. That's the barcode. Right. So then you, you scan it and it gives you a rating on how good or bad it is, depending on what it contains. So some things are, you know, there's lots of chemicals in lots of things, but these are listed in a way of those that are harmful to the body. That's what, what is absorbed through the skin. So it's it's brilliant and it's great for like, um, what are some of the things we scan? Body well, it's lotion, cos it's co cream. cosmetics and food. Yeah. So it's cosmetic and, and it's three siblings that started the company and there is mm -hmm. the free part if you just want to use the QR. They ask for your email, but they don't bug you. They're a really nice company. And you mean the barcode? The barcode. What did I say? <laughs> QR. QR, yeah. <laughs> And so you, if you want to just check the barcode, then you, it's the free. And I just paid $13 to have to upgrade it so that I can do it off and online. And then I can do a search for in the search, just look at something if I don't have access to the barcode, if I'm buying something on Amazon or something like that. So with that app, which I have a, a link below or the name at least below to help you if you want to look. So if you're on, if you're listening to us on podcast, um, it should be there in the info and definitely on YouTube. If you click the more button, there's a list of everything. And so Eddie found this brand of moisturizing cream that got 86% uh, I think is what it got or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. It's really good. And when you scan a lot of the drugstore brands, this one Andalou, you can get at um, a lot of health stores or online and it's really a, a fabulous lotion. Um, it's wonderful. And, they and it's clean. Creams. They have face creams yeah. and all kinds of stuff in it. They do, yeah. And and what's also in here, shampoo, things like that. What And the Yucca app is a carrot. So when you see that it's got a little carrot as its symbol. So Great. And helpful. even we even scanned like bags of nuts and to see if it had wheat or gluten or things like that in it and it would list, you know. It was it's just a great app. I think it's it's genius. Yeah. I wish I had created it. Yeah. I was I well, you'll create a different one maybe. I know. I have one in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I have one um, in my mind. Yeah. So we found the Andalou there. And then we also, um, oh yeah. Cause the I was deodorant. A, oh, deodorant. Yeah. My favorite deodorant that I got Eddie, she loves too. So Lume. I, this is Lume, L-U-M-E and there's Lume.com or, or, um, it's on Amazon too. This is my favorite smell. I've tried all their smells and this is the peony. Um, that's my favorite smell. Do you like it too? The one I got yeah, you? I love Okay. Yep. Yeah, I love that. One. And it does last 72 hours. I started having an, I've always used natural deodorant, like different crystals and things, but I started having a reaction to everything at a, about 10 years ago. And so I had to look for these natural deodorants that are kind of like creams, but most of them are 72 hours. Um, yeah. cause I don't know about you, but man, when, 
when perimenopause hit, the smell underneath my arms got just quite not good. And so I actually have it. I know you don't have to deal with that issue, Eddie. You're so lucky. Like you don't know. smell. But I, I so I literally have, I put it on night. Like you only need every 72 hours, but, but my, I rarely stink at, you know, at least I don't think I do. Um, well, it's, so. I love it because it's, there's so much controversy about aluminum in deodorants and blocking our lymphatic system. And we want to keep our pores open. And, and that is a, a wonderful deodorant. Even my honey, he, he loves it too. And he's really sensitive to, to all kinds of deodorants. Yeah. Especially and people then, with eczema, psoriasis, um, is any, you know, really sensitive skin, that stuff is great. And and some people like get dry bums and dry thighs and, you know, there's dry areas everywhere. You can use it there. I, yeah. I use they, it on my what's that? I use it on my underarms. I, I like it. And it's not sticky. It's not sticky. Yeah, it's not sticky. It's for all your private parts. So they do have creams that are the same um, uh, flavors, the same smells, and they also have body wash. And you can use it on all your private parts. That's what they advertise. Like you can use it any way you like. And yep. so um, there's a clary sage and lavender one. That's okay. There's an orange one. That's okay. The peony one is really my favorite. But the clary sage mm -hmm. and lavender is nice. It is, it is yep. nice. And yeah. clary sage is a lovely, it's a, it's a wonderful essential oil because it's great for hot flashes. Yes. And balancing yes. hormones, right? Yes. So it's kind of a double, double whammy, you know, which we can move then right into our essential oils. Yes. We have favorite, favorite brands. Well, there's, I have a couple of favorite brands. Well, there's, there's a lot of essential oils out there. And so, um, I, you know, of course there's young living and, and the doTERRA are the most popular sort of ones. Mm -hmm. They are also the most expensive. They are very high quality, but they're so expensive. And yeah. so, and I, you and I use essential oils like all the time for everything. Like I always have when I'm traveling five to 10 with me at all times. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm putting essential oils on my masks, on tissues that go in my purse. I put it in spray bottles. I use it as a, you know, the spray into the air. I diffuse them. I, you know, I, I'm rubbing them on people walking by. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So this is what the brand looks like that's cheaper. It's called I Revive. Can you see that? It's Revive. I revive. Oh, Revive, not I Revive. It's Revive. So, mm -hmm. um, and that's available on Amazon too, or you can go to their website. And they they are they're not as cheap that when I first started um, using them, they were like half the price that they are now. But they're still half the price of the popular brands. Um, so they're they're very good. There's Clary their Sage. Flavors. Yep, yeah. I had a Clary Sage here. They're cur so they have a couple of doubles that they of uh, like they'll they'll copycat uh, DoTerra and Young Living, and they're mm -hmm. really close. Like I've ordered a couple. Like their Courage one is supposed to be like Valor, and Valor's so expensive. But mm -hmm. so I buy their Courage one is like twenty dollars, whereas Valor on Young Living is like I don't know one hundred and twenty dollars, something like that, or ninety or something yeah. like that. So, yeah, yeah, but they're they're another quality um, essential oil. So yes. they're good. It's a good company. We we love them. And this and the scent, yeah, it's it's just lovely. It doesn't fade. It doesn't um, lose, you know, and turn into a different smell, which happens with a lot of essential oils. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Starts true. out lavender and ends up being lavender. <laughs> yeah, and if you're the kind of person who's bought essential oils in the past and then they just sat on your counter, you do have to use them. Like put them in your purse when you fly. They're small enough that they can and just use them like or put them in the purse just all the time. So, you know, rub lavender on your hands or peppermint like I put peppermint on the back of my neck in the summertime to help cool me down when it's so hot here. And, yeah, um, you know, just have my stock ones that I carry all the time when I fly, as Eddie said, putting it on your mask. And so you do have to, you know, buy, you have to use them, you know, and, and yeah. having them on you is a big part of it or right beside your bed stand, you know, put a little bit mm -hmm. on your neck or on your pillow, you know, before yep. you go to sleep, the lavender. Yeah. Yep. And then we also have another favorite when we get really sun kissed skin and people go, I didn't think you went out in the sun too much. I'm like, well, I don't, I wear sunscreen, but we have tanning drops. Corinne introduced me to this one. Salty face. Amazing. This is so good. That's all I used all summer. And I had this lovely uh, sun kissed tan and I rubbed it on my neck and shoulders and yeah. 
It's great. And they have a body one too, right? Yeah, I got the body one. I love them both. I got recommended on Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop. They said it was the best one. They did all kinds of testing and it was the best one that they found. And I've used different, tan- you, you and I have used both different face tanning things specifically um, over the years so that we don't have to wear face makeup and keeps our skin even toned and stuff. Yep. I even use it in the summer too. Um, so yeah, we, we, we love it. It feels good. You put it on after your moisturizer. Mm-hmm. Yep. Love it. What else do you have there? Um, let's see. Oh, the Jolva. We have to talk about the Jolva. Oh, Jolva. Now I introduced Grin to this, but we can't get it in Canada. So us Canadians and snowbirds, when you go down to the U.S., order this stuff. Dr. Anna Kabeka, amazing, triple board certified, uh, gyne. She is an amazing woman who has done the research. And Jolva is a cream for, yep, your Jolva. <laughs> <laughs> And it's very hydrating, and especially women as we get older after the age of 50, even some women in their 30s and 40s are using this cream. So awesome. it's a moisturizing, yeah, it's a moisturizing cream for the little bits. For your little bits. And it is on yeah. Amazon too. It is. So you can order it directly off of Anna Kabeca's site, or you can order it on Amazon. And it's about the same price. Like I compare sometimes, oh, if I go to the website, it will it be cheaper? And it's not usually so that's mm-hmm. kind of cool. But we, we've got all of our girlfriends use it. We use it and all of the ladies in our life use it and they all love it. Yep. So so just consider it lip balm. Lip <laughs> Not balm. for those lips, your other lips. <laughs> <laughs> that's Dr. Eddie for you. She's Talking always- about lip balm. Now we do have our favorite lip balms. Which one do you have there? I have all three the here. here. So there's Eddie's and Kathy. They make these, but they're not available unless you go see Dr. Eddie in her office. Or yeah. if you email Kathy or go to one, you know, they're not available. But Eddie, you make these, yeah. right? I make them. I have them in my office. I make them. And when people want them, they just send me an email. And I make batches every so often. And they're fabulous. And Kathy has her. So mine is through email. And I think ordering Kathy's is through email. Same thing. And she is the amazing bee woman and she makes incredible products. And, you know, we, we, when I was making these lip balms, there was a point Corinne knew the difference between mine and Kathy's. And now she's like, is this yours or Kathy's? So, yeah. You've refined it and it's delicious. Same, same, but different, but it's still made with all organic ingredients, shea butter. I have a lot of patients who have really dry skin, dry lips. Um, my, my, my grandkids, I rub it on their lips all the time. They, I keep them in lip balms all winter long. And when I make batches of them, people get them for Christmas. Goes in their little bag. Yeah. Yeah. So they're good stuff. It's all organic and we, you know, we're putting stuff on our lips. So we want to no, it's good stuff. Exactly. Yeah. Very close to our insides. So, um, mm-hmm. so you can order it from Eddie through email. If you're in Canada, you can order it from Kathy and I'll put her email email below. And if you're in the U S or you can buy Burt's bees. I did a, before we got on, I, it has a 93 out of a hundred rating, the Burt's bees lip yeah. balms. So yes. I put that link in Amazon too. So you have choices. And while yes. we're talking about the homemade stuff, there's the body butter. So if you go to lush, um, or you can go on Amazon too. Um, you get, this is from our friend, Kathy, the bee lady who made this little shape of a bee and it's body lotion, but it's solid. So you can take it on the plane, fly with it. And it's just so nice to rub your hands after you wash your hands. Cause you're washing your hands a lot when you fly on over the holidays. And it's great to have in your purse and to keep you moisturized. So it's a solid body butter that softens in your hands, melts a little bit, and then you put it back in its little case. Yeah. It's awesome. And while we're on and the then, lips, yeah. while we're on the lips, um, mm-hmm. so this is our favorite, but it's discontinued. So it's Kyle's <laughs> used to make this shea butter. And so I had like bought, uh, our friends said they're going out. So like two or three years ago when they were going out, I bought like five of them and I have one, I had one and a half left. So I gave Eddie my half in, in Europe. She's already finished with it. And I have, this is my last one left. So we've been trying to find a replacement and I think I have found one. So I like the brand and Eddie does too. Now the thrive you, if you're on Instagram or Facebook, you know, thrive, it's all natural ingredients. It's a really good company, um, that rates really high. And so the, 
I did find this lipstick, not a lipstick, it's a lip balm, it's a colored lip balm. So when you open it, it looks quite dark. You know, like this one is like a bright pink, but it mm -hmm. doesn't go on, if you will see, it doesn't go on super bright. It's just more like a tinted moisturizer. And it's got shea really butter nice. and stuff in it. Fused it. Yeah, Eddie kept telling me when I first got it a few days ago, she's like, it's way too pink for you. That's her code for you need to send it to me. <laughs> yeah, it's my pink. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I, also we both use this um, of the same company. This is their, they have eye shimmers and they have a uh, waterproof eyeshadow. This is the waterproof eyeshadow. Comes in like, I don't know, 20 different colors. And I put this underneath my eye and then Eddie got a color that's a little more brownish that you put underneath mm -hmm. your eyes, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So and I often I go up into the corner a little bit. So, but it goes on really easy, like no pulling, nothing like that. It's just and a it doesn't really come off. Nice, yeah, really nope, smooth. Doesn't come off. Yeah, Real it doesn't smooth. come off. Like we're very picky about what we put on our face and our eyes and how it works. And yeah. yeah, yeah well, we sure. use good skin skin products, and you know, the as your skin starts to get older, you don't want to be pulling on it and scrubbing on it too much. You know, you want yeah. to be putting nice things on it and using. Yeah cloths that's not abrasive and that's why we like the cloth we use and then the other thing is um another one of my favorite things Karina introduced me to was the sea serum oh beauty counter sea serum beauty we counter. love that oh, that so, is like gold beauty counter is an amazing brand and you can actually get this on amazon but if you have a rep you can go to their website and this is, this is, I use one other thing, but this is our, both our favorites got turmeric in it and it's a C serum, mm -hmm. vitamin C morning and not, or night. And it's just amazing. Put it underneath your moisturizer or do you use it as moisturizer? Oh, I use it under my moisturizer. And it's yeah. really funny because, um, I had just gotten in that bottle from you and I don't always put it in the bathroom because sometimes house guests go in and they try some of my things. And so I pulled it out. And as I'm taking it out, I'm, one of my friends goes, hey, that's your secret. That's your secret, isn't it? That that vitamin C stuff. I'm like, my secret to what? They're like, well, your skin looks so good. Like your skin always looks radiant. I'm like, you know what? It is. Now don't touch it. <laughs> it's my vitamin C. Because when I run out, <laughs> my skin doesn't look vibrant. But it but I, it's truthful. It's it's true. I miss it when I run out. So that vitamin C serum. And you know what's beautiful with the Yucca app? You can go into Sephora or the drugstores or any of these places and just scan the barcodes and just watch what turns up on some of these vitamin C serums. So, you know, there's some good stuff out there by names that you would think is not great, but I've been scanning like different companies like Garnier and, and there's a lot of bad, bad, bad. And then one of their sprays, vitamin C spray was good, but scan some of these things, you know, it's amazing. So, I was in, I was in TJ Maxx the other day and I was scanning like, 40 products and they were all like zero, three, two, yeah. 10. Yeah. Yeah. And most what you think like people are using for sensitive skin. I saw a bottle today in a doctor's office and I was like, Oh, they need the yucca app. You know, they need to realize this stuff is not so good. Yeah. Well, cause it's like, it's like, you know, now I'm taking some bioidentical hormones or I used to think the same thing when I used to take the birth control pill when I was younger. It's like, something so small and tiny can keep you from getting pregnant. Like mm -hmm. that's how, and think about all the crap you put in your mouth and your body. And like mm -hmm. my hormone cream, something, a little dollop goes on my skin and it can affect my hormones and make me feel good. So what about yeah. all the crap I might be lathering on my skin? Yeah. So that's what I think yeah. about is, yeah. is, you know, our body deals with it, but it weakens it, right? Absolutely. Because we're, we're daily doing, one of two things or both things were accumulating toxins or detoxing toxins yeah. because we're taking them in no matter what yeah. through the air, through food, through junk food, through travel, whatever, you know, meds. So what are we doing to help our body? So a lot of times some of these things, you know, they're the, the, the you know, the least offensive they are least of offense. What, what way will I word that the less offensive they are? Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what we want. We want yeah. nice stuff. Yeah, for our bodies. Yeah. Okay, let me take a yeah. look at my little pile over here and see. Oh, 
our dry shampoo. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Now, that one, no, we wouldn't want to scan after that sentence. Although yeah, it's we not probably going wouldn't want to scan body. this. Yeah. It's going on your hair. On your hair. So this is living proof. Yeah, I scanned their shampoo. They did not rate high. Um, no. Even though I do love their products. So this is a little travel kind. And this is, so we've tried a lot of dry shampoos, Eddie and I, and this is yeah. our favorite living proof yeah. dry shampoo. Yeah. yeah, but for Christmas, though. She's got a surprise in her little bag coming her way for Christmas. Because I, when I find new things, then I will throw them in a little bag and send them to Miss Researcher <laughs> and see how she likes. Because her hair responds, her skin responds a little differently than mine. Yes. So, you know, so yeah. it's good. Okay. Test. Yeah, test, test. So, yeah. So the last thing I think we have is I wanted to share my backjack chair because every time people come in to meditate at the Ivy House, we have like 35 of these little backjacks and people are always asking me where I get them because they're they're like, they're to sit on the floor. They ship because they got a little wire thing. You have to put them together, but then you can travel and take them on a retreat. Anybody pretty much can sit on the floor comfortably in these. And they're great because they're a meditation chair. Yeah. So it's yeah. got a little wire here, support, you sit here, a lot of cushion, and, um, and, and these are the back jacks. So I did put a link because um, there's a ton of different ones out there, and this one is my favorite. Yeah, so the back jack chair for meditation. And mm -hmm. I think that wraps up our favorite things. It does. It does, and if it was a TV show, we would say, now everyone in the audience, you all get a little gift bag leaving and... A, a sample of everything. A yeah, yeah. So we hope just your ears got a little sample of what we just shared. It's years of research, isn't, isn't it? <laughs> yep, years of research, and we love our favorite things. We share it, and I share it with other people, and... And it's like this time of year, and so whether it's for yourself or somebody else, um, it's nice to have a list of the of the good things. It is. Yeah. So that well, was a deep dive into our favorites. We're just like Oprah I, and Ellen now. I loved it. I loved it. Yes, identical. We're the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I love you, Ed. This was really fun. Yep, yeah, it was fun. Love you, too. Happy uh, holidays. Happy holidays. Hey. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to 